Fart and poop jokes are probably the easiest, lowest effort lines written into movies and TV shows. Even the good ones. I mean, just look at Shrek. That movie's fantastic, but for every beautifully well-crafted joke, there is a joke that's just Shrek farting underwater. And by all means, good. That is so freaking funny. I never said poop jokes were bad, just lazy. To combine with that, tier lists are some of the easiest, lowest effort forms of content one can make nowadays. I'm guilty of watching them because there's something just so nice and personal about it. Yeah, I I'm making a toilet paper tier list. You guys know how this works, I'm gonna jump right into it, I won't dwell. I also changed the colors of the uh, tier list rankings to Fortnite gun rarities in honor of the OG season. S being the best, F being the worst, it's pretty easy to follow. Here we go. First up, Angel Soft. This is what my mom pretty much always bought growing up. It's what we used at home. Now, Angel Soft is probably the most middle of the road average toilet paper I know of, which is actually why it's the best place to start. It's not too soft, which is actually ironic considering the name. It's not super durable, but it definitely gets the job done. Angel Soft is a C. However, Angel Soft is one of the companies pushing an idea that I'm really not sure I can stand by. Angel Soft Lavender Scented Toilet Paper. Does scented toilet paper really need to exist? Do you really take a whiff of the paper before going in for the wipe? Or even worse, going in for a whiff after the wipe? Ew. No. That was peanut butter, by the way. And if you think this stuff is making the area down there smell any different, you're a clown. If you ever take a crap that leaves you feeling like you need to use scented toilet paper, take a shower, bro. If you practice normal, healthy hygiene while wiping and showering, you will never need scented toilet paper. It's a D. Next. Bamboo toilet paper? Who, who am I? A freaking Minecraft panda? Honestly, I know this was a pretty common thing before working on this video, but guess what? I couldn't find it. I drove to four stores yesterday, and it was either out of stock, discontinued, they just didn't have it. But actually, I'm still going to put it at a B because I think bamboo toilet paper sounds really fun. It's good for the environment. It's actually far more sustainable than paper. So that's a bonus. If I'm actually wrong and you've used bamboo toilet paper and it sucks and it scrapes your butt, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll reconsider. Scott TP. Now, Scott is a big name in the paper game. I mean, this guy's name is on toilet paper, napkins, uh, paper towels, etc. But maybe he should have just stuck with the last two because he sucks at toilet paper. This stuff is trash. I can even see the lights coming through. It's that thin. Plus, the marketing behind Scott is so boring. There's nothing on the package that makes it fun. Like nobody's rooting for Scott toilet paper. They lack any fan base or mascot. I'm giving it a D, but D might be generous. It is just that overwhelmingly boring. Scott Comfort Plus, on the other hand, this stuff is actually usable. Like I'm not gonna be super happy about it, but uh, I'm not gonna whine about it either. I can't really see through it, which is a much needed upgrade. It's actually got some texture. It's got some grooves for cleaning traction purposes. C, Scott Rapid Dissolving for RVs and boats. My first thoughts, why is this better than normal Scott? Like, bro, Scott, that is not a good business model. You're telling me the working class citizen is stuck with this stuff, while the 1%, the ones with RVs and boats, get to have the premium of Scott's rapid dissolving for RVs and boats? Not only is Scott boring, uh, he also hates the middle class too. I want to see how fast it dissolves too. I put it in this jar. Uh, nothing really happened. <laughs> Is this rapid dissolving? That's just what the toilet paper usually does when you put it in the toilet. Funny enough, this is still better than Scott's standard, so actually I'm gonna put it at a C. Next up, we got 97 cent bathroom what? tissue. An average 24 cents per roll. Brother, you are not saving money by buying this stuff. When you have to use half the roll, and look how small they are too. Congratulations, you ran through all four rolls in one day. Especially if there's gals in the house, you're gonna fly through it. It is rough to the touch, it's paper thin, which I guess actually makes sense, it's paper. Easily the first F, and nobody's fighting me on that. All right, it's time to address the elephant in the room. And by elephant, I mean cartoon bear with the reality shattering caboose. We'll start with Charmin Ultra Strong, the red package. Now this stuff is the standard. Charmin is the name to behold in the toilet paper industry. This stuff does its job well in every perceivable way. And if it was the only toilet paper to exist, I don't think any of us would be that upset about it. We'd be in a really good spot. It is fantastic toilet paper, do not get me wrong. But I'm gonna have to give it an A because there's a better version out there. Charmin Ultra Soft, the blue package. Fantastic toilet paper. This stuff is phenomenal. It has the texture for an enjoyable experience, but not too much so that there's not a great sense of cleaning as well. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the content house is a Charmin Ultra Soft house, baby. Woo! I wipe my butt with this stuff daily. Definitely an S. The bear seems to really know what he's doing for the most part. Charmin Ultra Gentle. The green package. Now, grown men do not use Charmin Ultra Gentle. If you think any veteran that lived through the jungles of Vietnam came back after the war with PTSD to use this stuff, this is what we were fighting against. From a toilet paper standpoint, it's fine. Maybe even good. But from a personal standpoint, this is a D. And the D stands for dainty and delicate. You are a dainty and delicate person if you use Charmin Ultra Gentle. I mean, look at that. You cut the flower and the hair and everything. Grow up. 
Moving on to something a little different, most of the toilet papers on this list you probably actually never interacted with. Most families aren't swishing it up weekly, like my mom always bought Angel Soft pretty much my entire life, so for most of these, never used them. But this one, coming up, is something everyone can relate to. Mass-produced, public school, Walmart bathroom, one-ply toilet paper. Thanks to my friend Brennan who yoinked this roll out of his college bathroom stall. You're a dog for that. This stuff is dirt cheap and there is no upside. I think we're gonna even have to get a test wipe in for this bad boy. I wasn't gonna film in the bathroom because um, that would be wrong. So I made this contraption that's definitely illegal in multiple states. For demonstrative purposes, that's what we're working with here. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Oh, it's smearing. It's barely doing its job. Oh, look, it's, it's falling apart. One of the quickest Fs on this list. It's really that bad. Next up, we have a little bit of a change of pace. We got baby wipes. Oh, so you want to be a baby and still use wipes? You're a full grown adult still using wipes? Get in the crib. Get in the freaking crib. Do it. I'm just kidding. This might be a little controversial, but baby wipes actually aren't that bad. It is definitely cleaner than the average toilet paper experience. And we encourage the cleanest options here on the Paint Right channel. Subscribe if you're clean. If you don't, you're stinky. But to be honest, the smell of baby wipes knocks them down a little bit. You catch one whiff of this, you can almost instantly smell the crying baby or screaming toddler. It hits you like a brick. Hello? These are clean and effective, but that smell is gonna hold them back to a B for a baby. Luckily for us, there is a better option. Dude wipes have the cleanliness of baby wipes, but instead of smelling like screaming toddler, they smell like dude. And good fresh out of the shower dude, not musty nacho cheese, hasn't showered in two weeks, dude. These fix my gripe with baby wipes, and they're also probably the best option if you're camping or hiking long-term going on some form of trip. That is a huge plus, dude wipes is an A. What is that? Is that sandpaper? Who put sandpaper on this tier list? It was me. I made the tier list. Okay, let's just try it. Let's load her up again. We got our sandpaper. All right, let's let's go in for a wipe. I'm scared. Good, actually. Oh! Oh, bro, no, no, that was not worth the bit. Gosh dang it. Oh, frick. Great value, generic, ultra strong. They even threw in a bland mascot in there. This is already more exciting than Scott could ever be. Now, it would be easy to run away and make some joke here about, ooh, great value, generic stuff is so bad. It's such a common thing. But here's the thing. I think it's time we grow up and admit that generic stuff is fine. Sometimes generic stuff is actually better. Not this, that this is not as good as Charmin. But this toilet paper has nothing wrong with it. Like, it's not the best by any measure, but this is this is thick enough to do its job. It's it's soft enough. It's strong enough, and it all gets the job done at a reduced price as well. It's not going to win any awards by any measure, but honestly, I think it's a C. Next is Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. Before this video, the Quilted Northern brand escaped my private parts for the entirety of my life. I cannot recall ever even seeing a commercial for this stuff. There's always just that bear with the mind-boggling behind. But honestly, this stuff is pretty great. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy the packaging. It looks high quality. Plus these letters, look, they're written in a way that it looks soft. The only issue is Quilted Northern Plush is just too soft. There is a better version out there, so I can only give this a B. Quilted Northern, ultra soft and strong. I love this toilet paper so freaking much. Every aspect of this, I enjoy wholeheartedly. The package is inviting. I mean, it's blue and green. Those are two great colors. They also put trees on it. I love the outdoors. It almost makes me forget that they chop down almost 10 million trees a year to make toilet paper. Good texture, good softness, good durability. I don't wipe my butt with this stuff. Like I said, we're a Charmin Ultra Soft house. But if my roommate's mom hadn't bought us like a huge Costco pack of Ultra Soft, I make the switch. I, in fact, I can now because I got it. Quilted Northern Ultra Soft and Strong is our second S. Do not sleep on this brand. Next, we got something, um, it's 100% recycled toilet paper. Probably to make up for the 9.8 million trees they cut down last year. No, I'm not a political person by any means. I am, I say out of it about as much as anyone else I know. But when I try to use recycled toilet paper, I can feel myself leaning more and more right with every single wipe. It is not as soft as normal toilet paper. It is not as durable as normal toilet paper. It's saving grace and it's only saving grace is that it's some effort to protect the environment and that is very noble, but it still doesn't change the fact that this stuff sucks. This gets a D for Democrat. All right, next we got Cottonelle Ultra Comfort and Cottonelle Ultra Clean. Now, neither of these are great, but that's not what this is about. Two things here. First, why is the only adjective that toilet paper brands know how to use ultra? Why is that the only one they seem to know? You got Charmin Ultra Strong. You got Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. Now Cottonelle Ultra Clean. And even Great Value hopped on the wagon. Like, come on, mix it up, guys. How about Charmin Super Strong? That's not bad. Quilted Northern Perfectly Plush. 
that's not as good. But you know what? It's still better than copying. So second point, Cotton now presents two options for the consumer. You got ultra clean or ultra comfort. And if your options are either to be clean or comfortable and you choose comfortable, you have a dirty butthole. You have a very, very dirty butthole. You are a gross person if you choose to be comfy instead of clean. Like I said, we support clean boys on the channel. Subscribe if you're clean. And guess what? Here's another thing. If you're cleaner down there, you're gonna be more comfortable down the line. If you have residue, if you have leftovers from using the comfort, guess what? It's gonna be itchy, it's gonna be chafy, you're gonna be less comfortable, and guess what? This is a scam because clean means comfortable. Ultra Clean gets a C for comfort. Like I said, neither of them are good. But Ultra Comfort, you get a D for dirty and disgusting. Next up, we don't have toilet paper. It's actually a bidet. I ain't go buy a bidet just for this video, and I also don't have one in my home base over there. I do not own one. That doesn't mean I'm necessarily against it, though. I've used it a couple times. The jokes about bidets being weird or uncomfortable or homosexual are so overdone at this point, I think it's time we grow up. Now, I'm not about to go and buy a bidet. I, I don't care that much. But the fact of the matter is, that is cleaner. Why should I be opposed to people being cleaner? Why should I be opposed to a cleaner body? I'm not. If you use a bidet, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Unless you use Scott. <laughs> it's so boring. Finally, we have Sam's Choice Premium Toilet Paper. I have one roll and I had to steal it. I don't have a Sam's Club or Costco membership to get this stuff. This is the closest toilet paper you can get to a cloud rip straight from the heavens to wipe your butt with. All toilet paper wishes it could be this toilet paper. Heck, I wish I could be this toilet paper. He, he's so much cooler than me. Sam's Choice is probably my favorite toilet paper of all time easily. It is ultra soft, ultra strong, ultra plush, ultra clean, ultra comfortable, all in one. This is the best toilet paper out there. S tier. S tier, absolutely. And I'm tempted to get a Sam's Club membership just for this. All right, that wraps it up. I think that's the tier list. Wait, is that a hand? What kind of sick person wipes with their hand? Now a little disclaimer before I close this out, nice toilet paper at your home is a huge privilege. It's weirdly expensive and you don't realize that until you either move out, graduate. We are a Sherman Ultra Soft house, but we're very fortunate that my roommate helps us out with that kind of stuff. If he buys it, we're college students, so that really wouldn't be affordable in our budget. There's people out there with a 97 cent bathroom tissue, that's their only choice. Whatever you use, that's fine with me. It's, it's toilet paper, doesn't actually matter. Unless you use Scott. Scott sucks. If you liked the video, go ahead and wipe that subscribe button. Have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.